Uh -huh. That was fun. How are you going? Welcome to this. It's this wine tastes like crap, but you know that because you're here with me. I thought I'd do another sort of collection video. I did a shoe collection years ago. It's a piece of shit. But I'm going to do... Oh my god. Coming alive. I'm going to do a, a movie collection. This guy in my office suggested that I do this. I won't say his name, but he's the one, if you work in that office, who smells kind of like an aeroplane, like cleaning fluids, you know, peanuts, maybe a little vomit. And like any good movie, this wine is going to have a twist because it's a return of... That's head. She's very orange as the new black looking. So that's that. Okay. Wine of the week time. Um, this is the bottle I've got for you today. It's a very unusual sort of wine to, to bring to the table. It doesn't have a lid and it's already two thirds empty. But what are you going to do? It's an Isla Negra. Where's the camera? There it is. Isla Negra. It's a Sauvignon Blanc Simulon. There's a lighthouse on it. And it, it's like in the ring, you know, when there's more image at the side and she's pushing it and suddenly, lighthouse. If the wine doesn't send you to sleep, the description of it does. Hints of dried herbs and yellow plums. I mean, yellow plums don't exist, so it's fucking lying. Hints of lemon and lime on the finish. Again, wine descriptions are written by gay people, I swear. Gay men, presumably, not lesbians. I don't know what they'd write on the back. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's not great. It would not win awards. Winner of the 2012. Would you buy it again? Probably not. Was it good for the price? I suppose. Would it go down on you, M? Our theatre. So I've got a great big pile of DVDs around me. I'm going to give a little review to each movie. Most of them are terrible. I do apologise for my taste. I actually once got all of my DVDs out on the lawn. I was young, mind you. Very young and I did a big art attack with them. Do you guys remember Art Attack, that TV show? This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art. Well, basically the premise of the show was that this guy would sort of make art, artistic shit and he'd make great big collages outside and out of sort of weird stuff that you wouldn't usually make huge outdoor collages with. Do they still show Art Attack? Probably not. Although I think that guy's loaded now. Also, he's not dead, Neil Buchanan. I'm sure he's loaded and that show was shown around the world. Did you guys get Art Attack? Okay, let's start with the movies now. Disturbia. Well, I'll tell you now, that is Rihanna's best song. It's called Long Time Dead. And it feels like a really cheap, low budget sort of case. And judging by the dust on it, I love this one so much. Dogville. That's where Nova was born. The birds. You know, I love it when bottles of wine have birds on them. Um, and that, that's really my review of this movie. The Secret Garden. Is that the one? Okay, let me just tell you about the secret garden because there's lots of children in bathtubs and they have broken legs, is that right? And then they sort of go outside and there's a garden there and it's all happy because there's a garden. This is an art attack. Spirited Away. Uh, it's just, it's a beautiful movie and it's, it's how people describe themselves, the state of euphoria when they first meet me. Signs was the movie I lost my virginity to because it's it really sets the sort of scene I think um, you know when you see the leg in the cornfield it's you know it's moving there's a kid with asthma in it can't breathe very well Juno now Juno is a movie about a pregnant chick pregnant ladies must have to poo all the time the invasion which is how I think the newspapers described it when I arrived on the British shores floating on that door. The Changeling. Somebody lent this to me about four years ago and I never, I never sent it back. I should do. So, Paranormal Activity. Now that's a great movie I find. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I think, you know, Paranormal Activity is best summed up as that sort of phenomena when you go to drink your tea and it's already gone. Because you've not, you didn't drink it. You know you didn't drink it. I didn't fucking drink it. Don't you tell me I drank it. She shouts Mika quite a lot in this movie. It gets kind of boring. The Bodyguard. It's still got the sticker on it. £2.50 we bought that for. Um, the Bodyguard is like the most boring movie ever. Yeah, Whitney Houston can't act very well. I mean, well now she can't act at all. But then even she couldn't. But I'm a cheerleader. This again is a pile of shit. Um, it's got RuPaul in it, so that's a sort of redeeming feature. Also, this, that's Natasha Lyonne. Lyonne? Lion. Don't know how you pronounce her name. She's the chicken in um, Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Black. It's about sort of dykes, you know, dyke-related activity, dykeramas. 
French and Saunders. Ba ba da ba da. All right, that's for the PlayStation 2. It's not even, I don't know. Perhaps you'd like to lend us your view on this questionnaire, Doctor. Oh, Clarice, you were doing so well. You were receptive and receptive to courtesy. Oh, thank you, Doctor Ash. Perhaps you'd like to have as much chance for him. Are you able to aim that sharpened perception at yourself, Doctor? Or maybe you're afraid. Okay, only the best movie ever. This one is Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Well, I mean, there's no introduction required. It's sort of Titanic, you know, it's Inception. It's one of those really big Lord of the Rings, Romy and Michelle. Use my strong hand. Halloween H2O is a great movie. It's one of the best Halloween movies. 20 years later, he's still around. You never see Michael Myers eat though, do you? Poseidon. It's about a giant sinking ship that sort of flips upside down and then just goes straight to the pits of hell, which is similar to one of Nova's vlogs. Rear window. Or, you know, if you cover that bit, it just says rear. She's a blonde lady and she shits one out, and but she doesn't know that it's like a living thing. She thinks it's sort of a bortoed and she goes around killing people in their living rooms. And this is volume two. What happens in the second one? Oh, she blinds some, you know, poor lady in the desert. The other Berlin girl is some stupid shit where a bunch of, you know, everyone who's not English plays a bunch of sort of English kings and queens and shit. That was a gift actually, it's still in the packaging. So, burn that later. Straight Heads is a movie with the chick out of the X-Files and someone else, some British dude, and they sort of, they hump in a forest and then someone sees it and tries to get them with like an arrow through the head through the straight heads. And then we come to Lady in the Water, which is arguably the best movie ever made. Because what is your argument for the contrary? You don't have one. It's the best. It's about some chick in a swimming pool who's sort of fighting with a dog. So shut up. So what are they? They're in an aeroplane, they run out of food and they start sort of killing each other for the meat. And Killian Murphy looks like a woman. So that's that. Tootsie um, is about a dude who dresses like a lady. Which, to be honest, I find a bit disgusting. Doubt, which is all about my first date with Nova. And Misery, which is all about the relationship that came after. The Craft. It's great for fashion, that one. It's a great movie all about fashion. I watch this one about twice a day um, because I like to sort of be ready for that kind of emergency. It's good to sort of prepare. So there's like a hundred more DVDs here and I could do this forever. Maybe I'll do a part two. Thank you for joining me in here today, Puffins. Um, please check out all the other videos on the Novimpia channel if you're new, if Perfect Androgyny brought you here. And I can only apologise for that. I'll check you guys again next week. Well, it'll be one of Nova's videos, but you should check that too. So cute! Alright, thanks Puffins. Bye then, bye.